So my fingers are crossed for my CSU Rams. <laughs> Hey, a lot of people have them picked as the Cinderella this year. So yes, fingers crossed for you and Willis, our alum of CSU. But we have those first two playing games that were played last night, two of them to go tonight. So people finalizing those brackets, placing their bets. And as we mentioned, CSU uh, playing for the men's side and University of Colorado in on the women's side. So enticing more Coloradans to place those wagers. And according to the division, uh, Colorado Division of Gaming, Last March, uh, bets on NCAA basketball almost hit $71 million, second only to NBA basketball. Play USA expects Colorado to bet around $100 million or more this year. In 2020, the tournament was canceled, and last year all the games were played in Indiana. So now the tournament is back to a normal format, and Play USA anticipates even more wagers. Here in Colorado, that return to normalcy has people heading to the casino. So, you know, most of our betting happens online. But we're really seeing with the with the casinos up and running, uh, with more retail sport books uh, up and, and nice ones up in the, in the mountain towns of Blackhawk, Central City, and, and Cripple Creek. Um, we're seeing on these big events, these big days, um, a lot more people going and a lot more foot traffic going into those retail sports books. In January, sports betting hit a record $573 million in wagers, with college basketball accounting for $63 million of that. And according to the odds makers in Vegas, Gonzaga is the betting favorite right now to win it all. That's followed by Arizona, Kentucky, Kansas, and Duke. But again, for our CSU alum, they are picked as a Cinderella in a lot of people's brackets, even though they're the underdog against Michigan. But... I mean, I didn't even think Michigan deserved an 11 seed, but I'm not on the committee. For now, live in Cripple Creek, Jessica Grunling, KRDO News Channel 13. Hey, thanks, Jess. <laughs>